Your natural hair is a lifestyle and it's a part of a journey, a spiritual journey and a physical journey. They call me Miss D504. As a young black woman in society with natural hair, it's not easy to maintain, but I want to show the world how liberating it is. The advantages of being a natural black woman is embracing your culture, showing and spreading your love. I learned how to take care and how to love myself, as well as how to advise others to do the same. Nobody knows you better than you. I love hair. I love taking care of myself. I love seeing other people take care of themselves. So why not broadcast that? Good morning, you guys. Welcome back to your girl, Miss D504 channel. Um, thank you for tuning in for watching my esthetician school journey at Christine Balmy International School, you guys. Um, we back to the same old schedule. I'm catching the same old trains and walking my same old route. It's really gloomy outside. If you guys can't tell, like, ugh, this weather looks atrocious. But whatever. Today we have our skeletal test so we have to know the muscles in the face the muscles in the skull I mean the uh, the bones in the face the bones that are in the skull the bones in the arm so yeah it's definitely a lot of terms but nevertheless your girl feels ready what I do need to study for is my test that is for tomorrow because I don't really know the muscles so today is the skeletal test. Tomorrow is the muscular test. So I studied probably for two days for the muscles, but I definitely need to do like a crash course, a crash session of studying for the muscles. Um, yeah, I feel like today is gonna be a basic day. Usually when we have like tests that are gonna be a little bit more challenging, she gives us an hour to study in class and then we take the test. So I'm assuming, assuming you guys, that it's gonna be the exact same way today. Get to class, don't take the test until 10.30 maybe. And um, yeah, nothing too crazy. And then we just go over the new chapter that we're gonna be learning for today, review for our test tomorrow. And of course, your girl's favorite thing, book work. So um, it should be a pretty chill day. I'll tell you guys what I learned. I'll take out my textbook when I get home. Oh, and I did not forget that I will show you guys my backpack and my tote bag. The one, the backpack that I used to carry and the tote bag that I'm carrying now when I get home. So, um. I feel like I doubt anything exciting will happen at class. So, with that being said, I'll probably just see you guys when I get home. So, later, you guys. Peace. What's up, you guys? Let me take these glasses off because I do not need these glasses. Let me talk to you guys. So, um, yeah, today was the end of day one of, what is this, weekend four of theory. I honestly cannot keep track anymore. And that's why I haven't been saying the, um, the days or what week we are in within the videos because I honestly have lost track. I'm going to have to go back and look at how I labeled these videos to see. But nonetheless, today was a very... It was an interesting day. Everybody was pretty much bored in the theory class. Everybody was falling asleep. Everybody is just like worn out of all this book work. Like I kid you not, you guys. Um, we took our test. I got an 88 on my test. Yay me. Um, still wishing and praying and studying hard so I can get A's on my test. But you guys, like it's it's harder when it comes to studying two tests and it's back to back. Like I have a test tomorrow too that I still need to actually study for. I wrote down um don't mind my bed i wrote down the terms that we have to go over so these because when we do our, our pop quiz in class for our review so i wrote down all of these things i know probably a good 10 out of the, out of the list that i just showed you guys but um 
yeah so we learned about the nervous system today our test tomorrow is on the muscular system our test today was on the skeletal system and today in class we did the um like i said we did the test we did the nervous system we read the pages it was probably like maybe four pages and then we actually um we did book work from like 11 o'clock to almost pretty much three and she put on a movie to show us like basically how um is it sciences or is it kind of like architects that build the um the sculptures in the museum for skeletal systems i don't know I don't know what the exact term is. If you guys know, put it in the comments below. But we watched a video of that. And your girl was trying so hard to stay awake, like in class and during the video. I was nodding off. My teacher saw it. She was laughing, apparently. And yeah, there was nothing. It was nothing I could do about that. I was just like, I tried my hardest. Like, I do class participation but and all of that. But it was just, it was so hard to stay up. So... Let me show you guys a few of the handouts that we got today. We went over the cranial nerves, the sensory motors, and the functions of them. So just so you guys can get like a full view of it. I hope this is like in a good perspective for you guys. So this is what we have. And we have to memorize this whole chart, you guys, for our test next week. The whole chart. So your girl is going to be studying this whole week. This whole week. And she gave us a nervous system tip sheet, guys, for what we can go over. It's, it's really a lot of handouts. Some of them I don't need to go over. And maybe, like, some of them I need to go over, like, a paragraph of what's in that, um, what's in that pamphlet or the handout so this was the bookwork we did it literally was like a page and a half it starts right here obviously nervous system this um section you guys i felt like it wasn't really hard like it wasn't as many terms as what we had to learn for the previous um like the skeletal and the muscular like actually memorizing the location of the bones and the muscles and the terms of what they actually do like i'm good with just memorizing regular terms my mind is good with that but locating it memorizing it and knowing the function of it what it connects to and everything else sometimes that becomes a little challenging you have to study a little bit more but luckily the test for next Friday or next Saturday, I feel like will not be as challenging. Oh, so and I also didn't tell you guys I'm um I'm gonna be doing my makeup hours um this upcoming Tuesday and this upcoming Friday. So you guys will get an extra esthetician vlog video from me when I'm doing my makeup hours. Um and I'll let you know guys know how I feel about making up my hours and how it actually went. But yeah, it's pretty simple. We learned about the brain, the spinal cord, the brain stems, um, the senses, if it's a motor sense or a sensory or if it's a reflex or if it's both. And that's pretty much it, you guys. I can't, I don't know what else I'll be telling you guys for going into details with, but I felt like compared to what we learned last week, it was not a lot. So, and then tomorrow, after we finish the muscle test, we will be learning about the circular system. So, I don't think that should be too crazy either. I don't know how many pages it is in the chapter. I should look. Let me look right now and tell you guys. So, it is... It's only seven pages, so that shouldn't be bad either. So that means we're going to have a long day of book work. And you guys know how I feel about book work. But whatever, it is what it is at this point. Um, I'm going to go ahead and get myself together. I have to go to a dinner tomorrow night with uh, Javon's family. So all of this has to look appropriate for tomorrow for when I'm going to school. Because right after school is when I'm going to his mom's house. So I have to wash my hair and I have to study and uh, so I will see you guys in the morning. Um, I hope this was a quick review of what we did and what I actually learned today. I will see you guys in the morning. Peace. Okay, guys, I definitely almost forgot. Do not mind how my floors look in the middle of a renovation. Almost finished, at least for my living room, but that's 
that's a whole nother video um it looks like i had you guys upside down sorry so you guys wanted to see what my bags look like this is my tote bag that i've been bringing like i said i've only have two books in here my workbook and then this book and this is the backpack that i was bringing um it had a whole bunch of different compartments which i did like about it and i think i might start bringing my backpack again even though like i don't have that much stuff to carry but it's just more support other than these little two straps. So I think tomorrow I just might bring my backpack. But um, yeah, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Peace. Good morning, you guys. Welcome back to your girl, Miss D504's channel. It's definitely a little cold outside. I didn't bring a scarf because I just have to go to Brooklyn tonight as I told you guys yesterday. And I just hate traveling with a whole bunch of stuff on the train knowing I still have to go to another location. So I tried to be minimal and minimize it. So today I have my muscular test. I feel pretty prepared. I think I need to study just a little bit more. But other than that, I feel like I should do good. It's only 20 questions. So it doesn't leave room for a lot of error. So that means your girl needs to be getting the A one of these times oh <laughs> do y'all see that highlight come huh? so rude but um anyways the test is 20 questions so it does not leave room for a lot of error and that means that i need to do exceptionally well so i know i will i'm not stressed i'm not worried i'm gonna go since i'm already early i'm like 30 minutes early i'm sure she's gonna give us at least 30 minutes to study before class starts. So I have pretty much an hour to study. So like I said, I'm not stressed. I'm not worried about it. Your girl is gonna do good. I'm gonna come back to you guys telling you I got an A. Put those positive vibes out there because your girl is getting an A. So um, yeah, that's pretty much it, you guys. Um, we're doing that and then I told you guys what we were going to be going over what chapter we're going to be going over for today and the workbook pages I'm not sure how long they are but I know that the reading is literally only like seven pages so that should go by quickly but I know we're going to be having a lot of book work that's the only thing um so yeah I'm getting ready to walk into my building for school as soon as these cars get out the way Ugh. so yeah you guys I hope you guys are having a great day once again thank you guys for tuning in and watching my journey my esthetician journey my esthetician school journey I don't know if that guy was talking to me so I was trying to ignore him um, and yeah um, maybe I'll take my camera out in class today. Maybe I won't. Who knows? But I will see you guys later. Okay? Peace. Hey, you guys. So it is like 10 o'clock at night and I'm ending this vlog because I needed to end this vlog. Um, I just finished doing this writing assignment, but it's not for school. But long story short, your girl did not even pass her test today. I ended up having to retake it because I got a, um, I got a 71 on my test. So the the total test was 25 questions, I believe, and I got five wrong. So, you know, however many questions you have, like the fewer questions you have, the less room you have to get like errors. So I missed five and it was just one too many questions that I missed. So I retook the test for lunch. I didn't get my score back yet because I think she waits till the next week to give you your score. But I have no doubt I know that I passed because all of the ones that I got wrong, I like memorized the correct answer, the correct term, and I placed it in there. So today we went over the circulatory system and all the rest of the systems, like the reproductive system, um, pretty much all the systems that were left that we had to cover. And we summed all of the systems up for our test that are that is well that will be taking place next week. I have a lot to memorize, so um, I know I need to do a lot more. I think it's um, definitely challenging 
studying for two tests that are um, complicated back to back. So I'm gonna try and write some of the terms out this time and see if that makes a difference. Um, especially for the ones that I know that may be a little bit tricky. Trickier, I should say, trickier. But um, yeah, I was definitely disappointed when I saw my test score. I was kind of frustrated, but then I was like, you know what, don't let that get you down. You know, you're about to pass this next one. So yeah, as long as I know I passed, I am fine. And we did book work probably for like three hours today. We watched a short film of how the old Christine Valmy used to be and how they used to implement their effleurage friction and the different basic facial movements. It's pretty, it's the same technique, but they've kind of altered how they do, um, I guess how they do their technique um, from back then, which is like 25 years ago up until now. So that was kind of interesting to see because it was of the head instructor, um, Elias. If you, I don't know if you guys remember him from when I showed you him like in my makeup class when we had him as a teacher for certain days. And um, yeah, we got to see him 25 years ago when he was younger. He had a head full of hair. He looked completely different, you guys. Like I wouldn't have even known that that's him today if somebody didn't tell me. But um class was pretty much chill today everybody was still nodding off falling asleep megan one of my classmates she actually ended up catching a video of me falling asleep i might insert the clip in here we'll see i don't know and yeah that's pretty much it you guys definitely be on the lookout for those two videos i was telling you guys about from last week one of them should be coming out this week especially for my braces update and i guess you guys thank you guys so much for tuning in i know i probably look tired because i am but thank you guys so much for tuning in if you have any questions about my esthetician journey or about Christine Valmy, definitely let me know in the comments below and I will be sure to answer to the best of my capabilities. All right, you guys, the little bit of energy I have left, I'm going to do what I can around the house and I will talk to you later. Peace.